Arc Warlock is one of the most underrated subclasses in the entire game, and I think it's truly just because of the bad supers it has, but the neutral game is some of the best in the game, due to its insane ad clear ability and the support DPS it can bring to a fire team. But anyway, let's just get into the build here for you guys. Um, so you're going to be using Chaos Reach for the super. I do not recommend Storm Trance, I think Chaos is your only option. Please Bungie, can we like buff it, do something? I would love for the subclass to really get the love it deserves. Um, healing Rift for the Rift. Um, chain Lightning for the Arc Melee. You can use Ball Lightning if you prefer that. Either or will work. I just prefer the Chain Lightning because it causes Jolt, which funds in with the build that I have here. I'm using Pulse Grenades because they just got that 20% chunky damage bonus, and I just prefer Pulse Nades on Warlock just in general anyway. Uh, for aspects here, this is where it gets really good, is Arc Soul, casting your Rift uh, to create an Arc Soul that fires at a target in front of you. Allies can pass through your Rift to get an Arc Soul. Your Rift recharges faster when allies are near. And also, while amplified, your Arc Souls are supercharged and gain increased fire rate. This is really nice just for some support damage and raids, dungeons, whatever. If you already have a well or two and you just need some extra passive damage to throw in, this will be incredible and I think it's overlooked and I've started using it a lot more in my raids and it's made a lot more boss fights just even faster than they can already be. Uh, to the next aspect, it'll be Electrostatic Mind. Defeating targets with arc abilities or defeating jolted or blinded targets creates an Ionic Trace. Collecting an Ionic Trace makes you amplified. This aspect is very important for the fact of jolted, blinded, or arc abilities and you'll understand why with the fragments, the exotic I'm using, and then the weapons I'll go over here in a minute. Uh, so fragments here, spark of ions, defeating a jolted target creates an ionic trace, spark of beacons, while your amplifier arc special weapon final blows create a blinding explosion, spark of shock, your arc grenades jolt targets, and then lastly this one is a toss up for which one you prefer to use. I prefer Spark of Resistance. While surrounded by combatants, you're more resistant to incoming damage because I just like that little bit extra survivability. But if you don't need that and you prefer to fund as much ability energy as possible, you could use Spark of Discharge. Arc Weapon Final Blows have a chance to create an Ionic Trace. So basically, with this right here, you could be done with the build. The mods are just going to enhance it even more and make it even better. But this build right here with no mods will fund you insane ability regen it's unreal let's get into the armor here uh, the exotic is going to be fallen sunstar and the armor perk is ionic conductor ionic traces you create move faster and grant you additional ability energy and nearby allies also gain ability energy when you collect an ionic trace the additional ability energy i'm pretty sure you are funded around 24 to 25 percent of your ability energy back for each ionic trace and that's why it is important with those fragments to be just pushing everything towards creating as many ionic traces as physically possible so you can just spam ability regen um, into the mods here first for the helmet going to be using harmonic siphon uh, just because i'm going to be using an arc weapon so i'm going to be spawning in as many arc orbs as i can um, Ashes to Assets, I couldn't really figure out what to put here, I, I think this is the best. I do think we're going to be needing some more mods here to really flesh out some of these builds. One day Bungie, please. Um, heavy Ammo Finder is my last slot. Uh, for the gloves here, I'm going to be using Firepower and Heavy Handed to both spawn in orbs on grenade and melee kills. Uh, and then lastly, lastly, Bolstering Detonation grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a grenade. Just so I can fund some more ability energy back, because I feel like I'm going to be getting my both my grenade and melee back pretty often that I won't really have to worry about it and I think just a little extra bump to get my rift back is nice for the arc souls. Uh, for the chest piece, just like in pretty much every single one of my builds, use whatever. That slot doesn't really matter. I prefer charged up, sniper damage resist, and then concussive dampener, but use whatever floats your boat for the chest piece. Uh, for boots here, I'm going to be using triple arc weapon surge i think this is fantastic because you're just going to constantly have that 22 percent damage boost which will help with the arc special weapons you'll be using and then also if you're using like a hothead or um like really any arc heavy weapon this will just boost it even more but if you did want to fund into fully 
just ability energy you could switch two of those out for an innervation which is uh reduces grenade cooldown on pickups of orbs and also invigoration reduces melee cooldown on pickup of orbs so you can still get the 10 percent damage boost but probably fund a little bit more ability regen um, then lastly for the class item here i'm using double bomber and then time dilation for that extra five seconds on the dk of armor charge for weapons, this is kind of where it gets fun here. Um, you really have open use of any weapon you want to use. I'd still prefer you to use arc weapons with this. I think this is where it's going to shine the best. Uh, Path of Least Resistance from last season, the Trace Rifle, is hella slept on. This thing is fantastic. It can roll the Volt Shot on it. It sounds weird on a Trace Rifle, but man, let me tell you, it shreds. This thing is nasty. Definitely, if you have one sitting in your vault, you have the frame for it to craft, use it. If you don't, there's some other options out there that I'll get to. But this is it. This thing is fantastic, and I love it in the build, and I love rocking it with double special, using the raid shoddy, and then the hothead. Um, other two weapons I would recommend with this build would be I kill with SMG, if you have one with Volt Shot, and then lastly, Forbearance. Forbearance might not have Volt Shot on it, but the thing is, is it's going to be causing the chain reaction explosions. And then also on those explosions, it'll be causing blind. So it'll be causing that giant explosion plus blind and killing those blinded enemies will then spawn in more ionic traces. So basically you can still fund into this just insane ability regen build and basically turn forbearance as well into a blinding grenade launcher, which is absolutely nuts. Um, now, if you don't like double special, the Ikelos SMG will be for you. I think that is the best bet. Um, there are a few other weapons out there. I know there's the Iron Banner Auto that can drop a Volt Shot, and there's probably one or two that I'm missing out there as well as, uh, for this build, but these three weapons, I think, are going to be your go-to um, for your heavy slot here. Uh, any arc heavy weapon, it doesn't matter. I think Hothead or, like, Thunderlord are probably going to be your two best bets, um, but I, th I think that's just kind of up to you. I think this build really shines around its exotic armor piece and the build for the actual class itself so the fragments and the aspects those are what makes this build itself and then the mods plus some weapons can really enhance it and make it even better but anyway guys i'm gonna leave you with some extra footage here and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out